Right now, Swansboro police are investigating a playground assault at the Excel Learning Center. Police say video appears to show a four year old being beaten by other students with a teacher looking on last Thursday. And News 12's Billiana Garland spoke to the mother of the victim and a representative from the school. She is live tonight in Swansboro with the details. The child's mother, Amanda Johnson, says that she was told by school staff that it was just a playground scuffle until video circulated online, and then she found out there was more to the story. According to Swansboro Police Chief Dwayne Taylor, it appears that the child was being hit by other kids on the playground with a instructor present. Amanda Jefferson demands answers. She says her son was attacked by other children at the Excel Learning School last Thursday. I just feel like they failed him. They failed to keep him protected. On February 1st, Excel Learning Center operations manager Nia Grace says they got a call from a bystander across the street about a child being shoved on the playground. In this video, Amanda says you can see her son being hit by another student. And I mean, he's being kicked, punched, slapped. I mean, stomped on, they're jumping on his chest. I mean, he fights back until he can't no more. And I mean, what do you expect? I mean, he's four years old. Amanda went straight to the police to report the instructor, who is seen in this video watching the fight unfold. Horrifying to know that this is going on right in front of or behind their backs without another teacher, another anybody saying anything. The school also reported the incident to the Division of Child Development. The staff member should be addressing the situation as soon as they see it um, and stepping in and redirecting. Grace admits this isn't the first time a bystander called the school about an issue. It's not unusual, but also not uncommon that we would get a phone call from the community alerting us that there's an observance that they see on the playground. Last year, the school received a violation for improper supervision. But that's something Grace says they are improving on. We are constantly training and retraining and trying to prevent any type of supervision issue from happening. Amanda says the school downplayed the fight as a minor scuffle and says school officials delayed notifying her about the videos circulating on social media the next day. It's just really unacceptable on all different levels. Grace says the instructor in the video, who was employed for less than a year, is on administrative leave. Operational manager Nia Grace says that the kids involved were put on behavioral action and that there is an increased staffing on the playgrounds now. In Swansboro, Billiana Garland, News 12.